So one, two, three, open your eyes. So having a good time? Yeah. Remember we, yeah, we, yeah I, I give you something. That, yeah, done it. there you go. Thanks very much. Yeah, did you enjoy using it? Yeah. Did you see the expression of the girl in the background? Sometimes the audience are of more entertainment value than the subject themselves. I'm not knocking the subject. She was a wonderful star as well. This week, I'm going to be talking more about amnesia. I've talked about amnesia before, but there's going to be a nice skit with several pieces of amnesia thrown in. And it's interesting to see how the mind works with this stuff. So keep watching inside. Hi there, my name is Terrell Mears. I'm a hypnotist and clinical hypnotherapist. And every week I show you some nice street hypnosis and then give a discussion on part of the hypnosis that you see in the video. And this week, as I said, we're going to talk about amnesia. You've seen this girl before. We're locked and stuck. No, I can't move. No, can you? No, I can't move. And I can't believe when I looked through my channel, I realized the last part, the very first part of inducing her into hypnosis was uploaded 10 months ago. So it's about time you saw a bit more of this lovely lady. And this week, you're gonna see her in two skits. Uh, the first skit, I'll hint at what's going to happen. I wonder if you can figure out it's to do with her costume that she's wearing. And then the second part is to do with amnesia. And there's several aspects of amnesia inside this one skit. And I'll break that down in the tutorial section after you've watched the video. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you give it a like, and don't forget, click the big subscribe button and that bell notification button next to the subscribe button so you get notified when there's a new video coming from myself. And please do leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you thought of this video. Tell me, did you learn something about amnesia from this video? You're gonna learn after you watch the street hypnosis clip. But enough of all that admin, let's watch the video and then stay tuned afterwards. Be more relaxed. In a minute, I'm going to count from one to three, and the count of three, you'll no longer feel stuck. In fact, not only will you not feel stuck to the floor, but you'll feel fully immersed in the character you are today. You're going to feel fully immersed in the character you are today. You're going to put your arms out in front of you. You're going to feel like you're a bunny. You're going to bounce around. You're not going to cause harm to yourself or bump into anyone else. You'll be aware of the steps at all times, but you're going to move around within a short circle of where we're standing right now, but you're going to bounce like a bunny. You're going to bounce like a bunny. Nod your head that you understand. So one, two, three, open your eyes. How's it going? <laughs> Enjoying yourself? And sleep now. Way down. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Relax. The deeper you go, the more relaxed you feel. The more relaxed you feel, the deeper you go. Drifting and sinking down. Even deeper still. In a minute, I'm going to count from one to three. On the count of three, you're going to no longer feel like bouncing around like a bunny. You will feel lovely in your, in your character, but you'll not feel impe uh, 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 like what bouncing around like a bunny. But when you awake, you'll realize that last week when we met, you'll realize that last week when we met, I lent you my mobile phone. The mobile phone that you're carrying right now was borrowed from me and it's now time to give it back. So nod your head and you understand. So one, two, three, open your eyes. So having a good time? Yeah. Remember we, yeah, we, I, I give you something that, yeah, done it. there you go. Thanks very much. Yeah, did you enjoy using it? There yeah, I did, I did. Happy days, happy days. And, uh, yeah, no problems using my phone. No, no, no good problem. stuff. Happy days. Good stuff. Thanks very much. And look at me and sleep now. Way down. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Relax. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to three. In the count of three, you will not remember giving me your mobile phone. But when you see me holding it, you'll be very surprised. You'll be very shocked, and you'll, you'll, you'll want it back. You will want it back because you realise now it is your mobile phone. Nod your head that you understand. So one, two, three. Open your eyes. So having a good time with hypnosis. Why have you got my phone? Uh, didn't you give it to me? No, that's my phone. But I, I didn't take it off. You, you give it to me. No, I didn't. That's my phone. Are you sure? Yes. Because I think that, I might, might have my yeah. That, that's my phone. Yeah. Because that me and my sister. There you go. That, that's my is that, is, sure, but, but that's my credit card. That's my credit card. 
it's like, wait, I. When you look at that credit card, you'll realize it has my name on it. When you look at that credit card, you will realize that it has my name on it. Nod your head that you understand. So one, two, three, open your eyes. Yeah, look, it's, it's just my credit card. I really don't believe you. What's the name? There you go. Is, is, is that your name or mine? Yours. There you go. So it must, so it must be. Sorry for the confusion. Yeah, but it probably looks just like yours because probably. it's pink and I'm, I'm a probably. fella. It's probably that, that, that. Probably, yeah. yeah. Right, so that's it. Sleep now. Wait, I'm deeper, 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 deeper relax. In a minute, on the count of three, you're going to open your eyes. You'll no longer be confused about who this mobile phone is. It is your mobile phone and I will give it back to you. But in the moment, I'm going to ask you... Hi and welcome back. Did you enjoy that? Wasn't she a superstar? And you saw her, as I said, up the front in two lovely skits. The first skit, quite predictable, shall I say, because she was in a, a bunny costume. Uh, I'm afraid to say I can't remember. Leave a comment if you know the character that she was playing, the anime character. But it was a bunny type costume, so I thought, let's improvise. And this is the importance of street hypnosis and this sort of entertainment situation where you've got to make things up that revolve around the moment. I couldn't have planned this the night before because I didn't know what characters, what people I'm gonna meet. So uh, you gotta be improvisational in the moment. So in this case, I said, you're gonna hop around like a bunny. And she did it beautifully. Now I didn't prolong that skit too much because as you saw just near the end, she was adjusting her, her headpiece because I didn't want her costume to fall apart by jumping up and down too much. As much as it was fun and as much as she was really enjoying it, uh, there was no issue of stopping it because she was not feeling comfortable about it. I just wanted to stop it and move on to the next skit because I could see it was rattling the costume. And uh, jumping up and down like a bunny can be quite tiring as well, so I didn't want to tire too much. So I move straight on to the amnesia skit. So did you count how many senses of amnesia were created in that just, we'll say one skit, or was it three skits, I don't know. So the first situation of amnesia is giving her a backstory that she has forgotten that we met a couple of weeks ago and I give her the phone and now it's time for me to take my phone back. When in fact, we never met and it's not my phone, it's her phone that she's carrying. And she accepts that suggestion beautifully. You see her waking up and without a, a blink, before I even say anything, and you can, again, as I pointed out in the opening uh, scene where the, her friend really tripped at the idea that, you know, that she was just reaching straight for her phone and saying, oh, there's your phone back. There wasn't a hesitation. There wasn't a moment of doubt about that. She just says, oh, there you are. I've got your phone. It was beautiful. That was such a short skit. I wanted to prolong this sort of aspect of it. So I drop her into hypnosis and give her a new suggestion. Again, creating a sense of amnesia about what exactly happened. I say, you forget that you give me the phone. And when you wake up, you'll see I have it and you'll get slightly irritated. Now it's important to make sure you don't get them to feel really angry to the point where they're gonna punch me for stealing their phone. It's quite a valuable object. But I just give her that sense of, you're frustrated, you're annoyed that I have your phone and you want to get it back. Again, she works beautifully through that skit because as soon as she wakes up, she goes, oh, there's my phone. And she has various ways of proving it. And I even say, no, it's my phone. But she says, no, it's my phone. That's my picture of my sister. And that's, a pic that's my credit cards in the, in the wallet section. Again, amazing how she had handed over not just her phone but her credit cards and everything to me without a blink of an eye because she was totally in that state of hypnosis and believed that that phone was my phone and now she realized it was her phone and wanted it back. Now the minute she said that that's my credit card, again this comes back to the idea of improvisation within hypnosis. You can't plan this stuff in advance, you can't write a script for this stuff. When she said, that's my credit card, I dropped her into hypnosis and said, when you look at the credit card, you won't see your name, you'll see my name. Again, a fresh sense of amnesia over what she was looking at and forgetting whatever she saw. This blows my mind, this concept, this understanding of how the brain works and how hypnosis is working. Because ultimately, when you think about it, our eyes don't see anything. Our eyes simply see pictures like a camera sees a picture, but it's up to the brain to interpret that picture. So while her eyes are seeing her name and sending the picture of her name up to the brain, the brain's saying, 
that's not what you see. You don't see your name. You see Turan's name written on that, that card. And it doesn't matter whether it's hearing, seeing, taste, touch, or smell. In hypnosis, we are tapping into that unconscious part, that central processor, that computer inside the mind that's taking in information from our touch, from our eyes, from our ears, and then processing it. And because we've given a suggestion that she will process it in a different way, she's now seeing my name where she is actually looking at her name. What do you think of that? Does it blow your mind? It still blows my mind. I've been doing this street hypnosis for about 14 years now. I've been doing therapy full time for about eight years now. And yes, I can explain what hypnosis is, but having explained it, it's still mind blowing to see it in action. Tell me what you think in the comment section below about that. So I hope you learned something valuable today about how hypnosis works and how amnesia within hypnosis works. It's not just the obvious as you may commonly see on the channel where I'll hypnotize someone and say that you have forgotten your name. That's direct suggestion to forget something. But in this instance, I give a more subtle story about you've forgotten. I give you the phone you're carrying. I then said, you've forgotten that I, you give the phone to me in the first place. And then you've forgotten what name you're looking at because you're looking at something else. All a sense of amnesia within that one skit, or could we call it three skits, I don't know, but there's an elongated skit around the phone and the borrowing of the phone. And again, it's important when you're doing something like this here, taking something off someone, that you do have a decent audience. So everybody's aware of what you've done and that you have given it back. Uh, we don't want in any way to tarnish our relationship or our professional standing by taking someone off someone if you were just hypnotizing an individual in the middle of the street and nobody else was looking. So I wouldn't do that skit if no one else was looking. So as I say, leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you thought of this video. Did you learn something new about amnesia and about hypnosis and how powerful the mind is today? I really love to read your comments and feedback in your comments by replying to them. So please do leave a comment in the comment section below. And from time to time, if there's an interesting question about hypnosis that you have, I might feature that in a future video. So leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions about hypnosis. So thanks very much for watching. Give this the video a thumbs up. Make sure you give it a like and don't forget, click the subscribe button and that bell notification button next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I release a new video. As I said up front, this was the second video from this girl. I'll leave links to the first video in the description section as more videos come out from this girl. That's not the last video to come out from this girl. There'll be more links added in the description section as that happens. And I'll leave a link to this video here, which is our first video, the induction video. So it's coming up next. Just click on that link and enjoy that next. See you soon.